I debated whether or not I should do this video, but you know, I'm gonna do it so, so. Hello people, welcome back to my channel, salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans mon canal, konnichiwa, watashi no chaneru ni yokoso. I hope you're doing fine, this is another day, another week and another video of me. We've been talking about it for a while and a lot. And I'm not gonna repeat whatever you already hear in other news because at this point I think it's just everywhere and everybody is panicking because of it. So it's not a point here to actually concentrate that here. It's not the point, it's not the place. I feel like the more we're talking about it, the more we get people even more in here it is not a point to be on my channel and to still hear the same thing that even myself I hear every single day just like you was watching at the moment before going any further I'm Lady Tomo I'm a side coach and I'm dedicated and passionate about helping creative soul women entrepreneur uncover their personal style on such a deeper level that they feel confidence focus on the business in the lives because they deserve it you deserve it if you're watching this channel and you're worth it so Today we're gonna talk about the confidence and I always talk about it when it comes to the style, when it comes to anything else and the clothes you have, it's anything happening inside before anything else that you're gonna put on yourself. Now, why are we talking about the coronavirus? I think at this point, pretty much every continent is affected by it. It's basing myself on every people's reactions and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Like people are dying because of it and at the same time we need to be able to take back that control because the more you're gonna listen to the news, the more you're gonna watch the news, the more you're gonna get freak out about it. When it happened in December in China, it was more so a way for me to say, oh, you know, they're gonna be able to manage it. They're gonna be able to do something about it so it wasn't as big as it is today right so the more it kind of like spread out because of everything happening afterwards the more I kind of started to kind of panicking myself a bit and I think as human beings the way we are we tend to really panic when we feel like we don't have the control on things and I think that's what's happening right now with the coronavirus you see a lot of people buying a lot of things just because they feel like it's the end of the world and now a lot of countries put students and high school people in quarantine to let's say even a birthday you think about the crowd you think about the people and then you start freaking out the economy suffers the most more so people working in the flight company pilots on top of people getting affected by the coronavirus now my point here today is to say that when it comes to things that you don't have a control of, you tend to act on, let's say, that intuition, let's say, that instinct of survival. And that's what's happening right now when it comes to everybody like packing everything in stories. Dressing yourself in a way that you want to feel some type of way or you want to gain back that control could be the best thing ever. I gotta tell you why. Just by choosing something in my closet, just by dressing myself in a way that I wanted to feel confident. If I'm a human being and I'm listening to the news, I'm kind of panicking a bit, but instead of focusing myself on the news or anybody else besides me panicking, get that focus back on myself. And I think when it comes to being a human being, that's probably the best thing you gotta do right now because everybody else panicking besides you is gonna get you to panic even more. But seeing the stories and whatever was happening there, seeing whatever was happening in my office and all the politics being in place, put me in an alert mode. In order for you to stop having this fear that actually blocks you from doing something that you maybe can do to help others, maybe you need to get that focus back. You need to get that confidence back and really get all that energy that you can back to yourself in order to serve other people in need. And when I talk about style, you might be in your head thinking about what's gonna happen for the next couple of months? What's gonna happen to my business? Am I still gonna be able to work the way I want? Or me going to the office every day what's gonna happen to me am i gonna get infected because maybe somebody is gonna be infected in the core or just in the metro or anything like that you might be having that in your head right now because of your family because of your children because of your grandparents because of your parents what's gonna happen if you're panicking more this is what I'm always about it's like you panicking doesn't help anybody else and I'm not saying that you panicking just because you choose to panic you know but when you dress yourself you 
put yourself in a way or in a place where you get confident. When you get confident, you are in a calm mode. You're calming yourself. You're getting all that control back and you feel like you can do something about it. You're not making harsh decisions. You really have clarity in everything you gotta do. Everything you gotta do, everything that can impact others, this is where you get the most clarity on. So if you start panicking, everything is blurry in your mind. The instant the survival mode is for you to react as fast as possible. Not necessarily to make the best decision, it's for you to act as fast as possible because you are on a life of death type of situation. What's happening right now in the stories because of the coronavirus is because people feel that way. What do you think is gonna happen in the mind of somebody thinking about it for himself? I'm gonna die. I need to do something about it. I need to protect myself. But if I can control the coronavirus spreading out, I can control what I choose to have in my home or just get anything that I can because then I'm gonna have that sense of control. I had an interesting conversation with one of my colleagues about it and she was panicking because she was running out of toilet papers but not so much because she still had a couple of packages left at home but everybody else was panicking she was scared of not getting anything left when going to the stories and i was like well but what's gonna be the difference for you to get two extra package of toilet paper when in reality you already have five boxes of toilet paper what's gonna be the difference if you add extra oh i'm gonna feel better because i'm gonna have that sense of security i'm gonna feel safe but we can find a ton of example like that so going back to the style when you dress up you dress up because you want to feel something you dress up because you want to feel good how about dressing up because you want to be confident and you want to be clear on whatever you're gonna do so that you can help others how about that because when we think about the clothes, we think about the clothes in, in being a little bit more superficial than anything else, when in reality, we still have an importance and we still find it important to kind of dress up, dress up in a way that we want to feel good. So it's much more the mindset before looking any type of fancy type of way. You know what I mean? I feel like it's cute for me, but I know because it's cute for me is because I think and feel cute myself. So this is the confidence. This is how you can build up the confidence through the personal style. So dressing up in a way can get you to be more clear on your goals, more clear on people you want to serve, and even more so to find your purpose. You're working in an office or you're working somewhere where maybe you're limited because of the coronavirus happening right now and maybe you're in quarantine because of it. And we have a ton of way to make money nowadays. Maybe that is a moment for you to reflect on that and you had that sense of purpose but like you were meant to do something greater you were meant to do something bigger have that time and hold that space for you and really focus on yourself maybe it's just time for it because we have ton of people who don't even know they have something bigger to offer to this world and then things like that happen and you are forced i mean you are forced to stay at home to think about all of that because you have hours now whatever you want to do it's how you're gonna interpret things happening to you rather than things happening to you you're scared of everything now but guess what after all the crisis happening right now there's still gonna be life you're still gonna have to live there's still gonna be life happening to you what are you choosing to do at that point? Because right now everybody is panicking and think about it now because it's a kind of life of death type of situation for a lot of people because of the news again here. But what about you? Maybe you're the one that may be gonna be able to stand out, that may be gonna be able to serve the people in need talking we're not just talking about the money here we're talking about the mindset we're talking about the confidence we're talking about that personal development we're talking about everything that happens inside and in my case i use the personal side as a way to get everything here and to get that out so that the gift you have in there you are able to literally amplify it because the clothes are gonna have on you because when you're gonna show up on videos, which is really important now because nobody wants to meet face to face because of that, 
when you're gonna show up on videos, people are gonna see that confidence. This could be another avenue for you. We're thinking about starting something online, starting a YouTube channel, starting to show up more on videos. Maybe it's the time for you. Maybe it's a momentum for you. It's all the meaning you put behind things that are happening to you. It's you choosing the meaning. It's you choosing the moment. It's you choosing whatever you want to do with everything you're gonna have to do at home because you're gonna have hours to think about it right now. I'm talking about the personal side. I'm talking about the clothes. I'm talking about the clothes and I'm talking about all of that. It's fancy, it's pretty, it's all that stuff, but it's much more than that. And I dress myself to go to work. Instead of panicking and me in the subway and be like, oh my god I'm gonna get infected because I choose to have something that makes me feel better about myself I get to focus back on myself so everything that I need to do I'm doing it but I'm doing it with confidence and if I'm doing it with confidence then I create the result and great result for it you know that you're gonna get to make decisions into what you want to do next so any type of transition that you're going through right now, any type of questions that you maybe hide on your mind, it's a momentum to create something amazing. Telling you, people literally are using this crisis, the coronavirus crisis, that's how I call it, to literally make the money on other people's needs and other people's fear. And I'm not suggesting you to do that. What I'm suggesting is that talking to people, serving people in need, but you need to have clarity on yourself and you need to get rid of that fear first before being able to serve anybody else. <laughs> to kind of end in a good note here is in Canada and I know in France as well, Brandman decided to take all the antibacterial, the product to the the thing to clean up the disinfectants i think it's how you call it in english keep that for any hospital there was one person he had one left a little bottle you know the tiny bottle he managed to sell it for 89 canadian dollars 89 dollars the little thing the little thing the guy managed to sell it for 89 dollars like 89 dollars i'm telling you coronavirus are getting smart with the crisis happening right now that's all i'm gonna say and because my mama raised me another type of way well i need to think about people hard you gotta do what's good for you but dressing up in a way choosing to dress up because you want to feel confident is a way to do it it's a way to have the clarity it's a way to be able to manage your own emotions so that you can hold space for others you want to serve it could be a momentum it could be a wake-up call for you to be like huh maybe it's a time for me to literally get to the action of changing my career instead of having and staying in the mind right there you want to keep feeling that fear every single day do you want to keep being scared do you want to keep panicking it's not comfortable being stressed all the time it's not good even for your mind and even for your health it's a mindset but it's a health type of situation you can be in a panicking mode all the time all the time every single day think about your health because your health is probably the best thing ever and that can't be replaceable don't let the fear get at you that way don't let it i refuse be healthy and really think with your mind and not think in a life or death situation because we not you are not there yet probably think about those that already in maybe in worse situations at yourself at the moment think about them and think about how you can help them the best because you probably have the ways of serving people right now then other people don't think about your own strength think about your own gifts talk to people just to help them feel better about themselves i think even me i was at the point where i'm like i can't hear that anymore because it's everything way too negative and sometimes you need a bit of a positive here and a bit of a balance so i hope it was helpful for you let me know and definitely 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 be safe and do what's best for you in order to serve other people but you got this lot with you i'm gonna have more videos so we're gonna see how my schedule plays here go with uh, self-care tips or anything that you can do at home in order to feel better and confident with yourself other classic videos and more so spring capsule world drop and anything spring related because after that crisis life is still gonna happen to you so gotta do the best you gotta make the best of it so they keep going that way and definitely share your story with me love to help as much as i can let me know down below instagram as well so definitely follow me on there as well and i'm gonna have everything down below
we can make it and we can make it through the crisis and i believe in you as well because you're gifted and you're worth it I'm just like. So, I'm gonna see you for my next video. J'espère que ça vous a aidé. J'espère que ça vous a motivé. C'est pas évident. C'est pas évident de vivre à tout ce qu'on entend par rapport au coronavirus. Et je pense pas que ce soit nécessairement la meilleure chose d'entendre autant de choses négatives là-dessus. Mais j'ai essayé d'amener mon, euh, mon petit point là-dessus. Et n'oubliez pas, après ça, la vie continue. So, until then, be safe and like I say all the time, smile because it's free and contagious in a good way. Just like, bye.